Hello everyone, this is Ron again with episode 10 of my full playthrough of Silent Hill 2 Restless Dreams. If you'll recall, end of last episode, uh, we had the big reveal where we found out that James killed his wife while she was sick. And after that, went into the Lakeview Hotel Otherworld. That's where the water dripping noise is coming from, as well as, as, well as the background music. Uh, this background music is actually, uh, my, my favorite, uh, background music in this game, or my favorite track in this game, and it's actually called, uh, Black Fairy. And it's just got this whole, like, like, trippiness to it. This should be 312 here. That's where the video was. So, uh, this episode, I don't know if I'm necessarily going to finish the game this episode, but I am most definitely getting near the end. Uh, we've had the big climatic reveal, and now, uh, after hearing Mary's voice on a little radio thing, we're going to go check that out. Here we can really kind of start to tell that this is the other world version of the hotel. Everything is all covered and in uh, in water damage and stuff. I'm trying to see if I can even if I can go into any of these places. something. Oh, Crimson Ceremony. Uh, that book is part of the alternate ending that I discussed earlier that I will not be getting because um, I missed an item. Conversation between James and can. Mary's doctor. But there's still no effective treatment for her condition. How long does she have? I'm afraid I'm not sure. Three years at most. Perhaps six months. It's impossible to say with certainty. I went through 204, I went through 207, and it... Yeah, I got, if you go through 207, it puts you... It actually spits you back out at 204. I wonder how many people uh, got confused by that little thing. Just kept walking through doors for a while. I 
and that just spit me back out that, uh, they actually put me over here. I remember this is... So that put me back up there. What would happen if I... Yeah, that's what I thought. That put me at 207. That's kind of neat. I, the game's just basically kind of screwing with me at this point. Okay, so let's attempt to go the right way here. Yeah, I'll take those handgun bullets. I don't think I was able to actually go down this hallway in the normal version of the hotel. So let's see where 216 takes me. Eh, that's just blocked off. Okay. Interesting that the place just had these doors. But it's like, we're just gonna mess with you. You gotta find your way out. There are probably some people who, unlike me, get really familiar with things by their sight. So they may just think, oh, it's the alternate hotel at this point, and then, you know, they just kind of follow it around. Oh, geez, two ampules. Those were like full heels. And so, and so they basically follow it around and just kind of probably takes them a while to realize that they're just basically going in circles. Okay, so what's going on in here? It's not letting me out. Yeah, sure, let's go to the basement. filled up with water. I think I accidentally went the right way. This is actually kind of neat. There's a lot of health drinks. Shotgun shells. aid kits. The can full of light bulbs is still there. So 
feel like it's apparently the only place I can really go would be those stairs. And I wanted to go back up the elevator, maybe hit floor one, but it actually would not let me. So I just have to keep going through this here. Oh, this part, I remember this part. This hallway is on fire. Mama! Mama, I was looking for you. Now you're the only one left. Maybe then. Maybe then I can rest. Mama! Why are you running away? My mama? It's it's you. Oh I I'm sorry. Angela, no. Thank you for saving me. I wish you hadn't. Even Mama said it. I deserved what happened. No, Angela. That's wrong. No. Don't pity me. I'm not worth it. Save me. Will you love me? Take care of me? Heal all my pain? Hmm. That's what I thought. She wants a knife back. Give me back that knife. No. I... I won't. Saving it for yourself? Me? N no. I never kill myself. The hallway becomes consumed with flames. She keeps walking up. It's hot as hell in here. You see it too. For me, it's always like this. Yeah, so basically what that is is it's actually a bit of a glimpse into what is happening oh we can't go up that way but basically what that is is it's is it's is it's a glimpse into what is happening in angela's uh alternate world there um and what it's like for her and So that kind of, like, that basically more or less confirms that pretty much, you know, all these people have been experiencing more or less a different version of Silent Hill. Like, for James it was different, for Angelo it was different. It's part of the reason why when she saw him that one time, he, uh, she confused him with, um, her mother, um...
and also for like Eddie Dombrowski, you know, if it, you know, at this point it's pretty clear Angela is experiencing a different version. Um, well, Eddie Dombrowski probably did too. And as a result of that, that's where you would see like his monster. We're not even bothering with these dudes. These guys, and uh, those guys that are under the grids, I believe they come back in Silent Hill 3, but they're like an enemy that can just be fought. It's just, uh, it's just one save point, but it's like nine, it's like a whole bunch of them. This is kind of when the game is just starting to screw with you a bit. Yeah, this is definitely towards the end. Um, can't have much longer to go. I may even finish it this episode. Is this the room that I think it is? watched her die again. I was weak. That's why I needed you. I needed someone to punish me for my sins. But that's all over now. I know the truth. Now it's time to end this. Yeah, see, basically what the pyramid head were, and James just said it, is the pyramid head guys were essentially a way for James to to be punished for for what he had done. See, this fight all of us is just running around. And, it, and an interesting little factoid about this fight is that um, if I had, if I were to just run around this room for a while, um, like 10 minutes or so, um, eventually what would happen is, um, is, the, is the pyramid head would go back to the center of the room effectively ending the fight and allowing me to continue. But uh, that being said, they seem to be particularly vulnerable to rifle rounds. And they hurt pretty bad if they hit you. Uh, see, there's actually one more fight after this, so I don't think I'm going to use too many rifle rounds to be honest. finish off this clip. This is pretty much all this fight is, is you just run around and you take little pot shots at him. I'm going to break out the shotgun, because I know that there's actually one more fight. I move. I know that there's actually one more fight after this one. So I'm just going to basically keep running around shooting them. Let's see. Or actually, you know what? One, two, 
one more here. Yeah, this is pretty much all this fight is. not the most exciting but that's not really the point of this fight the point of this is to really kind of showcase James throwing off his guilt and, uh, and dealing with it mind you he's dealing with it by running around and shooting it with a rifle but I guess he's dealing with it switch out my rifle because like I said I know there's another fight after this one and I would rather make sure that I have some rifle rounds available for that. actually basically kill themselves if I if I hadn't shot at them if I had just if I hadn't actually done anything oh, rust colored and scarlet egg okay um, they would have eventually just done that on their own about the size of a clown's egg here my head was holding it Put the wrong egg into the door, apparently. So, yeah, put it into the other one as well. Okay, now I can go through. Now I'm back in the hotel. Okay. But uh, basically, James just dealt with his guilt over killing Mary by shooting her in the face, more or less. Whoa, 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 hold up. Let me go backwards here. Okay, so this is basically what this was. Okay. So that is, so this is the direction I need to go. Yeah, I, I know I'm getting very close to the end here. Is this the hallway that I think it is? I believe so. Mary? What do you want, James? I, uh, I brought you some flowers. Flowers? I don't want any damn flowers. Just go home already. Mary, what are you saying? Look, I'm this 
disgusting. I don't deserve flowers. Between the disease and the drugs, I look like a monster. W what are you looking at? Get the hell out of here. Leave me alone already. No use to anyone. I'll be dead soon anyway. Maybe today, maybe tomorrow. It'd be easier if they'd just kill me. But I guess the hospital is making a nice profit off me. They want to keep me alive. Are you still here? I told you to go. You deaf. Don't come back. James, wait. Please don't go. Stay with me. Don't leave me alone. I didn't mean what I said. Please, James, tell me I'll be okay. Tell me I'm not going to die. Help me. Okay, but that that whole thing, uh, I stayed there on purpose. That actually affects your ending if you listen to the whole thing or not. But um, that little, that's basically a little audio log or some audio of Mary when she was sick and talking with James and uh, and I actually really really like it because uh because uh f well for one anyone who's ever dealt with someone who is who's ever been around or dealt with people who have had a long-term terminal illness they've probably seen some uh, a scene very similar to that happen and um and it just kind of shows how like it it puts what James did in a slightly different light shows kind of what was going on with Mary a little bit and how she was treating James. But anyway, let's head into here. I think this will be finishing it up shortly. Yeah, of course you don't have that. Yeah, this is outside. Apparently. So I guess I'll have to go up. I don't think I went to this part before. I'm trying to just run up the stairs, but it's not letting me. You see, like, starts to run, and then stops again, and then starts to run, and then stops, and starts to run, and stops. Yeah, this is, I think this is it right here, up here. Yeah, the stairs fall away, there's no going back. There she is. Okay, hold on, I know it's gonna happen, so... I'm just gonna get ready. <laughs> That's Mary right there. James, I've been waiting. Mary. I'm sorry it took so long. Didn't you want to see me? Yes, I wanted to see you. Even an illusion of you. That's why I came here. It's not true, is it? You killed me. I couldn't watch you suffer. Don't make excuses, James. <laughs> I know I was a burden on you. You must have hated me. That's why you got rid of me. It's true. I may have had some of those feelings. It was a long three years. I was... Tired. That's why you needed this... Maria person? James, do you really think I would ever forgive you for what you did? She gets off the head. 
This is the final boss right here. Ah, stupid bats. Ah, oh, come on. I don't care about a friggin' map. No, out! A little bit more concerned about my health situation. buttons to try and uh, get out of that. shots left. That's not all bad. I think I just accidentally wasted one of them. Oh. Ah. I don't remember the scene before the final fight when I first beat it playing out like that. But I think I might be getting a different ending uh, than the one than one I seen before, which would be kind of nice. I should be good. Still got plenty of healing. Basically, I just got to uh, keep plugging away at her. It is kind of odd that he deals with uh, both of the emotional problems by basically shooting them in the face. Uh, shoot you in the face. And then I believe that's it. I get to see uh, the ending scene. Yep, here we go. This is my ending. I'll just let this play out here, and, uh, yeah, so, that is Silent Hill 2. And, uh, this ending, I know what this ending is going to be, I've seen it, um, I've watched it before, I've never gotten it before. You killed again. Mary again? That wasn't Mary. Mary's gone. That was just something I... Maria? Maria? What, James? I want you. So Maria's I back. I you with me. Are you sure? Come on. Let's get out of here. 
What about Mary? It's okay. I have you. So they leave. In my restless the, dreams, this is the. I see that town. This is Silent Hill. Uh, a letter from Mary to James. You promised you'd take me there again someday. But you never did. Well, I'm alone there now. In our special place. Waiting for you. Waiting for you to come to see me. But you never do. And so I wait. Wrapped in my cocoon of pain and loneliness. And then uh, this particular and letter of hers, this speech of hers, this, this actually plays... Pretty much regardless of what ending you get, unless you get uh, one of the joke endings. I um, wish I could change that. But in all of the real endings, but I can't. Uh, this, this, this is red uh, to James. So pathetic and ugly, laying here, waiting for you. Every day I stare up at the cracks in the ceiling, and all I can think about is how unfair it all is. The doctor came today. He told me I could go home for a short stay. It's not that I'm getting better. It's just that this may be my last chance. I think you know what I mean. Even so, I'm glad to be coming home. I've missed you terribly. I'm afraid, James. I'm afraid you don't really want me to come home. Whenever you come see me, I can tell how hard it is on you. I don't know if you hate me or pity me. Or maybe I just disgust you. I'm sorry about that. When I first learned that I was going to die, I just didn't want to accept it. I was so angry all the time, and I struck out at everyone I loved most, especially you, James. That's why I understand if you do hate me. But I want you to know this, James. I'll always love you. Even though our life together had to end like this, I still wouldn't trade it for the world. We had some wonderful years together. <laughs> well, this letter has gone on too long, so I'll say goodbye. I told the nurse to give this to you after I'm gone. That means that as you read this, I'm already dead. I can't tell you to remember me, but I can't bear for you to forget me. These last few years since I became ill, I am so sorry for what I did to you, did to us. You've given me so much and I haven't been able to return a single thing. 
That's why I want you to live for yourself now. Do what's best for you, James. James, you made me happy. And that's that for the letter. It's actually, you know, it's very touching. A very, you know, it's very, very neat because it kind of encapsulates her view and what she thinks. Now, here we should be seeing James and Maria walking out shortly here. Yeah, there they are down there. <coughs> That's Maria coughing. You better do something about that cough. Kind of indicating that she has the same illness that uh, Mary had. So that is Silent Hill 2. Um, the entire game will let the credits roll here. And uh, thank you very much for tuning in, everyone. Um, another just one little quick little interesting thing about this game. Um, the various endings are actually... Um, there isn't a canon ending for this game. Um, in some of the later Silent Hills, what happened to James is referenced, and I believe it's in Silent Hill 4, one of the characters is James's father, I do believe. And basically, um, the only part that's canon and the, the only parts that are part of the Silent Hill lore are that James Sunderland, he went to Silent Hill, and he disappeared. Uh, what he did when he got there, nobody knows. What happened, nobody knows. So, um, like, I think as the developer has said, um, you know, None or perhaps all of the endings are canon, depending on how you look at it. But I think it's kind of neat that um, that that uh, they didn't try to force an ending, uh, kind of like they did with uh, Silent Hill 3. They actually they they, they basically retcon Silent Hill 1 to make the good ending the canon ending. Um, and Silent Hill 4 just goes off and does a whole other thing, but Silent Hill 4. Uh, the seeds for it are basically kind of mentioned in this game with Walter Sullivan. Um, so, really hope you like watching this. Um, I definitely enjoyed playing this game again, and uh, for anyone out there who still hasn't played this game for themselves, there is, for perhaps some reason, uh, just starting at this episode, although I don't know why it's the last episode, um, if you have not played through this entire game for yourself, you owe it to yourself too. It is in my opinion, not only one of the best survival horror games, one of probably actually one of the best games I've played. Um, it has an excellent story, and, and uh, I don't mean that in just an excellent story for a game. I mean, as an actual story, this is a good story. It's 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 actually worth playing this game just to experience and see uh, this story. So I just skipped the the rest of the credits there, um, but there's there's my clear rank. And what defeated enemy? Huh. That just shows all my little stats and everything. So I'll save that, even though I already have the clear data saved elsewhere. So that's that. So like I said, that's Silent Hill 2 Wrestler's Dreams. An excellent, excellent game. Holds up very well. The grid still looks good. Uh, the, the controls are kind of clunky, but they were even kind of clunky back in the day. Um, but the story is still very, very good. Um, so like I said previously, if you, uh, if you haven't had a chance to check this game out, definitely, definitely do so. You owe it to yourself to do so. It's, it's totally worth it, even today. Um, and um, as for uh, what I'll be doing in the future, um, 
look for uh, a playthrough of uh, another game coming up shortly here. Maybe maybe uh, another thing or two in between. Uh, my next one, um, I'm hoping to do something that I haven't done before with my with uh, my playthroughs, and um, I'm hoping it'll work out. Um, you'll uh, I'll announce it. Um, I'll say it uh, when I'm doing it. But uh, thank you everyone for watching. Thank you all for sticking through this uh, as I. Uh, as I went through this and in some cases stumbled through it. Um, it's really appreciated. So um, once again, uh, thank you very much for watching and um, I will see all of you next time. James, honey, did...